Hello, today I would like to show you my very interesting soft cooler that I'm trying to fix and I'm pretty sure we are going to get a 100% success. This soft cooler is really nice because it has a form of a backpack and as you can see it can go into a really small form factor when in compared to the hard one that you can usually buy in a camping store and mount in a car. This unit because of having this small size footprint can be used as a backpack or can be hooked up somewhere and my plan is to use this on my military battery and it can be used for carrying medical supplies that need to be keep at the cool and you can then use it in car and in the field. Here as you can see on the back we've got a hole and that hole is carrying this Peltier, Peltier cooling assembly. Here you will be able to see the model number and the company. The device was purchased in the uh, Germany and it was looking really nice, but I've got an uh, extremely good price on this unit because it was not working and it was returned by the customer and I was sure that I will be able to fix because in general the Peltier cooling element never break so I know that it will be something else that is broken and I've got a good chance of being able to fix it and that's exactly what happened so this is our unit and it is a very good purchase because this unit is very compact, very nice, and if we sketch that template, we will be able to move it to a completely different bag pretty easily. Just sketch this, and you mount it with this bracket, and it can go to any bag. But let's take a look what's inside. So inside we've got our heatsink divided by this styrofoam and on the other end, this is actually the outside, we've got exactly the same size heatsink with something that looks like a filter, like an inlet filter, it sits on bottom maybe to not drag anything, any trash into the input. This is the part that's go outside, that part go inside. And that's it, that's it. The Peltier element is just a really tiny plate of a semiconductor. And what's else? So here goes fan and this is a extremely clever build because the fan looks like this or more like a blower and it's got this very long shaft and it's connected here because the idea is that we need to remove hot air from the outside heat sink and we need to move the cold air inside so from technical point of view we need uh, two blowers and this design allow us to just have a one motor and the same time spinning two blowers at once so this is a really clever design and i believe it was made purposely for that task because it's really too hard to find uh, the other application when you need to blow something on one side and then with this long divider blow on the other end. It's really hard to to find me uh, another use. And let's take a look at the 
at the unit. So that was the one that was mounted inside. Here is a model number. And I was unable to find exactly the same model number, but that one goes pretty close with that L on the end. The, it has a slightly different wattage. As you can see, it is a different current rating. So they are different watt power. But it is a small, so small difference that I'm pretty sure it's going to be fine. And the mount is exactly the same. The shaft got exactly the same length. And I'm pretty sure that we are going to get a good fix. We've got a slightly long cable. I'm going to decide, am I going to trim it or just to make it shorter that way. So let me try to put it back and turn it on. Okay, and it's done. As you can see, I just put a zip tie to close everything together. And looks like we've got a good fix. Let's try to power it on. And as you can see, the unit was uh, brand new. It have a factory defect. Someone received the package and sent it back. So we've got a brand new unit that just require some work. And as you can see, we've got a very nice blow. And we can try to close it down because that's what's going to make this air channel work correctly. And let's take a look. Did I make any mistakes? And it looks like I don't. So this is the whole unit and you can mount it anywhere, anywhere by using this. And it is a like a self contain so we've got a couple screw that hold it down. But let's power it on once again after closing. So we are going to get a good picture. Does it work? And I can hear that everything is fine. No problems whatsoever. Nothing scratching. And we've got a... Looks like we've got a really good fix. Let me put it back together. Okay, and as you can hear, or maybe you can't, the fan is spinning. We've got the air blowing out from one end. I can feel the Peltier is getting warm. The, the outer side is getting warm and we can take a look what's inside so we've got a extremely nice fix no one can tell that we actually did anything with this unit and it's starting to getting not cold but definitely cooler inside and this is how it looks like so this is how we fix our soft cooler by replacing broken brushless interesting fan. So thank you very much for watching and in future video I'm going to make a review of this product but I need to try it more. So thank you very much for watching, see you next time and bye bye.